Okay, this is just going to be a short video of my new everyday carry to work bag and it has a capacity of I believe it is 2,000 cubic inches and that's 33 liters and weighs uh, 2 pounds 6 ounces empty and that's uh, 1,077 grams okay now um, the other bag that I had, it was Outdoor Products, um, can't remember the name of it right now, I'm really bad with names, um, but they had finally pretty much uh, given up the ghost, and you know, it was just time for a change, I think the other one was probably three, maybe four years old, so I just decided to go ahead and uh, swap it out. Quite a bit more expensive, um, coming in at uh, eighty-nine dollars from Dick's Sporting Goods, um, but I believe it actually has a um, slightly large capacity, and also um, it's it, well the structure is completely different. So uh, some of the things that I was able to put in specific areas in the old bag, um, I had to kind of rearrange things and make it a little more user friendly for this particular bag. Um, so what I'm going to do is just pretty much do a dump and uh, just whip everything out and open up all the pouches. Okay, These are just a couple things that I like to keep on the outside of my other bag. Okay. down another pouch here more miscellaneous stuff another pouch there okay loaded with pins and other goodies just a whole bunch of random stuff that was uh, more neatly organized than the other one right now I'm just working my way through this and uh, it's a good time to um, make adjustments and changes and um, find out what actually works a little better placement wise and also EDC wise because you know as you go through um, time you find out what you use what you don't use what works what doesn't work and um, there's always either newer products out there or things that you didn't know existed before that can um, fit the bill a little better than the stuff that you had been using so as I said right now it's just a big old mess and so I'm just gonna just do a dump here it's actually a uh, blood pressure cough for your wrist. <laughs> right. That doesn't usually go in there, but just been keeping a better eye on my blood pressure lately. It's been kind of fluctuating, so I just want to make sure that I keep everything nice and neat. Blood pressure wise, anyway. this and this is the camera case the camera I was actually using in that work today so it's not in there when you live in the city it probably wouldn't hurt to have one of these in there
in it. And on the side, another pouch here. And here. Okay. I would say the one thing that I really. Oh. And uh, earplugs. The one thing that I. It was almost a deal breaker for this was the fact that this doesn't have a waist strap or waist belt. Um, I typically always like, I prefer a waist belt. I'm not sure whether or not I will attempt to add one on here. Uh, for the time being, I'm just going to go with the uh, chest compression strap here and see how that works out. And um, You know, just uh, like I said, make adjustments accordingly. But uh, overall, that's it. As you can see, I mean, you know, you can put your laptop down in there, or you know, your small laptop computer, and uh, there's plenty of room in here. You see here. I don't know if you can see that. So you have this, this, and a slot down here. Hand. Oh, no one knows so heavy. Um, cables and such for electronics. And it also feels like there's still something else down in here. Oh, yeah. Okay. We have this. Slot here. Doesn't open quite as wide as the other bag, but that's okay. They can help keep things a little more orderly when you actually do open things up may actually limit access a little bit, but okay, this, this, oh. like I said, all kinds of random stuff that I just dumped from my other bag into this one. And I almost forgot. Down here, you have another pouch down here, which has some ID cards and a water key, some bags. Lock pick set. And uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, oh, yeah, one thing. Uh, these, about the only thing that these can hold might be about 16 ounce sodas or something like that. Um, none of the, the, the small bottles that I have can actually fit in here and zip it up. So that is definitely a shortcoming that I noticed as well. But uh, I think I might be able to work around that. So that is a uh, just a short overview of the Gunnison. And uh, if you guys have used it, uh, let me know what you uh, think and what your experiences have been. Okay, I just wanted to keep uh, keep this as uh, short and quick and dirty as I could. And I'll find ways to do things like this, you know, with the pull tabs. I did that a lot with the uh, the other one. Was to uh, you know, keep some things on the outside. This just happens to be a P lighter. And um, it doesn't really have the attachment points that the other one does, but uh, I'll come up with something. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.